Welcome back, gamers and geeks. The next edition and uh, episode here of uh, the Zombie Island of Dr. Ned. I am Diversion and uh, here with Mordecai in this uh, DLC for Borderlands Game of the Year edition. This is the uh, Zombie Island of Dr. Ned and I'm running through the story missions. And the next story mission that we are tackling here is there may be some side effects. <clears throat> Ned was testing a skag based antidote to the zombie plague. The skags are immune to the illness, so Ned believes his antidote could be effective. Bring the antidote sample to the claptrap in town so Ned can continue his research. And it's out here in the generally hospital area, which is where we're at now. I just found it. It was a uh, tombstone on the beach hiding the entrance, so I went through, and here we are. Now this is going to be uh, a, a bit of a haul. There are two quests here. There's the story mission, and then uh, I've got uh, uh, Leave It to the Professionals, which is a, uh, an optional side mission there. Uh, to whomever is still alive when the zombie issue first arose, there was a lone zealot among the workforce who demanded a chance to destroy the evil that had befallen our mill. The board decided that it couldn't hurt to have someone out there trying to stop the problem while employees were being lost. The Jacobs Corporation has not heard from him since that time. There is a moderate monetary reward for determining the outcome of his endeavors, so I'm also going to be looking around for him while I'm clearing out the generally hospital area. So onward we go. Uh, let's see, I think I am... Well, I've got a couple of weapons I picked up. Let me That's an incendiary bouncing Betty. Ooh, that looks good. I think I'm going to grab that one. Do I have the money? I don't have the money. Uh, let me sell a couple of these. Because uh, I'm having to buy storage deck upgrades for my weapons. Let me sell this one and this one. That's still not going to give me enough money. Oh, okay. I'll come back for those later. Alright, here we go. Generally hospital area. There's the hospital up there, but there's a winding path that I have to go through to get to it. Can't just run straight up. And uh, between me and the hospital are a couple hundred zombies. this area. Oh yeah, I picked up a uh, uh, an exploding round uh, sniper rifle. 
one of my new additions that I kept a hold of. Alright, so I'm going to clear all this bottom layer out here first before I take on the next up there. Because there's a moment where they can come in from both sides and that's not good. right into my bullets. Grab the brains. All right. Mostly clear of the uh, visible zombies are still those that can walk up out of the ground. Let's see, that's a separate uh, mission over there. So I'm not going to go down there yet. Let's get some loot down on this end. I'm going to be pushed back a couple of times, if I remember correctly, because there's just a massive swarm. Oh, I got that. No, I didn't get that new uh, grenade set, did I? I still don't have enough money for it. The shocking grenades don't work as well as I was hoping they would. Like I said earlier in the previous videos, the uh, fire, incendiary, and explosion grenades are the ones that work the best. That hurt. Same with the rounds. <laughs> the elemental weapons. All right, so uh, let's see. Let me clear this area here. See if there might be any valuable loot. I see a cash box. Like it, yeah. Be a good place for a stand. Well, I don't know if I can get up there or not. Probably. Well, let's see. Might be able to. Nope. Nope. That would have been nice. All right, going. Moving on to the second tier here. Start spouting up all over the place here. Sprouting up, rather. Some suicide zombies. Explosion rounds work well on them. It really 
really got to watch your six on this this area here because uh, they will come at you from all sides. Some of them move pretty damn fast. Keep firing. Here's my round count. It's good. Right. All right, let's push it for forward a little more. Can't make some headway. All right, we got to the save marker at least. there. We'll clear around here to the left. Rocket launcher. I'm not using rocket launchers with this build. This character. That's, uh, that's another mission there. Let's stick to the one at hand here. So I'm going to go back some more zombies coming out. And here's the stairs leading up. optional mission which is right up here also I think it's a uh, well, I'm not going to spoil it in case you haven't seen it it's a boss creature Oh. Mm -hmm. 
full on my inventory. All right, let's see here. Got an open area. Cannot get through the main gate. There's a side entrance here somewhere that I can get through. No, it's not over here. I don't remember how to get into it now. Maybe it's on the other side. Uh, let's look. There's a hole in the fence somewhere. Or a broken fence. Yeah, here it is. Alright. <clears throat> Hank Reese, wear skag, nice hat. First artifact, shock artifact, and I'm full. Ooh, this is my first purple. All right, so hold on. Let me drop a couple of weapons here. I'm sure, I've got a couple of whites here I don't need that I'm not using. Uh, let's see, that's 371 for 194. That's a low one. I'm going to drop that one. Four, three, four, five, five, three. Okay, I'm going to drop. This one, because I'm not using those. All right, pick up the uh, Malevolent Thumper. Boom, first purple. And the Shock Artifact. Now, I need an Explosive Artifact or an Incendiary Artifact for this uh, Zombie Island DLC here. But, uh, let's see, that is, that gives... Uh, Improves Mordecai's Bloodwing skill. Adds shock damage to Bloodwing. So, I've got it. Go ahead and slot it. Otherwise, it's just taking up space. Uh, you see, those are good. Okay, now let's see. Going to slot my new weapon. Malevolent Thumper. Let's check it out. Let's put it in place of... Uh, Put it in place as an incendiary thumper and see what it does. Okay, now that was the uh, uh, leave it to the professionals. That was the uh, optional mission, so that one's done. I just have to find a uh, oh white no clue found. Uh, what was that? That was. Uh, That was something else. It was one of those. Anyway, uh, where skags start now appearing in game, and I'll be running up on those in uh, a couple of future missions. So let's get over here to the um, see if we can locate the antidote. Hit these loot piles, resupply. A few drops remaining in the bottle. All right, so that one is done. That is the main quest, but now there's uh, still got this uh, side quest here. Let's go ahead and knock it out while we're in here. So I found a clue. Wait, that's the. Oh, uh, no, that's way out there. Yeah, so... No, I won't do that one. I won't add in th that one into this one. Um, I will return to town. And uh, turn this one in. I 
thought there was a quest that takes me inside. I think there is. It's just not this one. Hmm. What do we have here? Uh, some whites. Let's see, that's a 542 surplus SMG and a 96 sniper. Nah, I'm going to pass on those. Alright, so let's hightail it back. Turn this quest in. Okay, made it back to uh, Jacob's uh, Cove. Turning this one in. What is that? Oh, that's just a light, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Oh, well, there's something happening to Claptrap over here. Something's going on here, and we're about to uncover a deeper mystery here on the uh, zombie island. Alright, turning in, there may be some side effects. <laughs> Another notch in my rifle. Claptrap was hacked. Investigate the story about Dr. Ned. And, oops, wrong button. Fearless zombie killer! New Don't missions are available like at the Jacob's Cove Valley Cross would be adventurous for financial gain. Claptrap is sounding pretty rough. Alright, so I need to go and uh, investigate this uh, mystery here further. Uh, but that will be done in the next video. So I hope you uh, are enjoying these and will come back and continue watching my uh, Mordecai adventure through the uh, zombie island of Dr. Ned. See you in the ne next time here. <laughs>